big fan of the KF94 style face mask. We are in the middle of a pandemic. A lot of people died, 500,000 deaths yesterday in the US. So these things, I take these seriously. After a year of wearing different masks, I come to realize that this is the best mask ever. It's the easiest to use, it's the lightest. And for me, I don't have any breathing or asthma problems, but I do have difficulty breathing in the KN95 mask, the, the cone-shaped ones that suck your face. And the little medical ones, like, it's not going to offer you much protection with the new strain of coronavirus going around that's more um, contagious. So the KF94s, they go on easy. It's so easy to use. It only touches the top of your nose, the bottom of your chin here, as well as the side that loops over your ear. So it's not touching the part of your face that moves when you talk. And I could talk, you could hear me. My sound travels right through the mask, even though it does offer the protection. Nothing's coming in, nothing's coming out. Also, my glasses aren't fogging up it's raining it's cold in this parking lot and my you know my window is fogging up my glasses aren't fogging up now i just found that lowe's my local lowe's in yonkers has these things called 3m um kf94 map i got a pack of 10 here they're a bit pricey they're 30 a little under 30 i think 29.99 for 10 you could go five is 19 and then three is 15 dollars which is weird so i just I got the 10 um, and I like about what I like about buying these in a store I know I'm getting quality stuff if there's any issues with these I have a place I can go and return them to and complain about I'm not getting this from a random seller online from Amazon I don't know where it's coming from it's lightweight there's a big tag here I'm gonna have to cut that off because that's gonna bother me it's lightweight but what I like about this is the strings seem long enough to go around the back of your head if you want to wear it that way like wear it around your neck you have adjustable things there which is cool Goes on just as easy as the other mask. Now, because of the thickness of this, my voice is muffled a little bit. It has the suction test there, so it definitely is going to keep stuff out. Um, it's a little bit more secure. My voice is muffled. Um, that is a bit of a surprise to me, but I don't mind. Um, I'm still talking easily. It's staying on my face. It's not slipping down. Um, there is a nose wire here, which is cool. It's nice. Um... I will agree with the reviews. This is kind of on a smaller side. Um, this fits my face. There's definitely a lot of suction in this. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take it off. Yeah, this is definitely protective. Give you guys a close up of that 3M there. Uh, don't like that the stitching's exposed in this, but that's fine. I got so I got ten of these. I could wash these. I could give these to um, friends. This goes on so easy. It's lightweight. Um, about to go to the supermarket. I'm gonna wear this to the supermarket. I like that it's not bright white. I'm not sticking out. It's like, you know, kind of matches my skin tone a little bit more than than these optical bright white masks. So it's cool. I'm gonna wear this around and maybe come back at the end of the day and give you guys my final impression of this. So you see it does fog up a little bit simply because this nose wire is really weak i wish this wire here was stronger on the nose it becomes it, it um just straightens back out and if you're wearing glasses your glasses will get foggy um it's my only gripe with this mask i love it it's a great mask it's as you see it's really easy to wear it's light um but is that that nose wire is super weak what you could do is cut a hole in it remove this nose wire or and add your own or just add an additional nose wire to this um to make it more robust uh, but right now the nose wire is the weakest part of this mask um, but i love it it's a comfortable mask it's easy to wear you have this um elasticated air loops are adjustable you could also wear it around your neck if you wanted to like that so uh let's get right into this review of this awesome mask and um you see uh uh, kind of some good po points and bad points of this mask. But overall, I kind of recommend it for people that don't wear glasses. Um, but if you like me and you wear glasses, then you will get some fogging unless you fix that nose wire. Hey guys, so it's been three days later since uh, you saw the first section of this video. I've been wearing this mask for a couple of days now. I love it. I actually just washed the first one that I ever wore out. I wore this for two days. 
So I made the mistake of machine washing my first mask before reading the tags that said hand wash only. <laughs> However, I was lucky enough to use a powder detergent to protect the water repellency of the fabric and I did not machine dry it. I had just hung it up to dry in a dark, cool place. Also used a gentle wash cycle, but the mask still came out wrinkled and had a bit of shrinkage. So I recommend hand wash this only. Do not machine wash it. Okay, so this mask dried. This is the one I washed earlier today that you saw when I started doing this part of the video. And there is some shrinkage, even though the measurements don't seem like it shrunk. It feels like when you wash these, if you don't do maybe, you have to hand wash them. But machine wash and regular cycle, it's like, yes, yeah, definitely it feels like, it just feels like it doesn't fit the same. It feels like it's shrunk a little bit. So that's kind of strange compared to one of the other ones in the pack. See how that goes on? I know this is comfortable. This is definitely tighter on my face. It's like, it's just weird. So hand wash these. Don't put these in a washing machine with your regular load of laundry. I think um, hand wash them is probably the best way and hang dry. We had all types of weather. We had, um, it was like 30 degrees when I bought this and we had like a 55 degree day and today is like in the 40s. So we had, um, Good range of weather for testing out the face mask in certain types of weather. I was also indoors. I went to a supermarket. I dropped my kids to school. Um, so I got to wear this in a bunch of different environments. My favorite part about this mask is that you can wear it two ways. So you can wear it like this with your ear loops, which is really cool. You put it over your ears. And this strap is very adjustable. Like it has that toggle there. You can adjust it for different size faces. Um, so I can wear it like this over the air loose, but sometimes wearing glasses. I don't want to face mask over my ears. What this does is like you could un loop it around your neck like that and wear the mask just like that. So it goes around your neck. Or if you have a small head, you can do it up here. You can toggle it at the top of your head like that if you want to wear it like that for a bit more, um, bit more uplift, I guess, like that. I could talk. I could breathe. It Definitely passes a candle test. <sighs> Nothing's coming in and not out. It's two filters in this section and a single filter up here and down here. But I feel filters are very secure. I feel like my face is being protected. Nothing's coming, nothing's coming out. I was concerned about that because I did notice that it does get loose here, but it's fine. You could cinch it. It gives you a lot of cinching options. So you could cinch it so it hugs your face. Really love this mask. Um, and then like the KF94 style, you can fold it away without ever touching the inside of the mask and put it in your pocket. It folds flat. You can tuck it away. Nothing's getting in and out of this mask. Even if your hands are dirty, um, it's a really good mask. Like if you can't wash your hands or sanitize your hands, but you want to put a mask on right away, you could open it like that without ever touching the inside, flipping it up, put it over your nose, and stitching around your ears just like that, and the mask goes on. And you just adjust it. So you never touch the inside of the mask. You touch the outside of the mask. Which is really, really cool. Um, so what I love about these masks. It allows you to talk without the mask smothering your mouth. It doesn't touch your mouth at all. So let's spin the camera around. Take a closer look at this. And compare it to an actual, the actual disposable KF94 mask. Where, which I really love. These are as secure as the N95s. It gives you the same kind of protection. As the KN95 mask. It suctions your face. <sighs> Nothing's coming in, nothing's coming out. I like that it allows you to talk. It only touches your top of your nose, the bottom of your chin, and down here where it, you know, goes to your ears. doesn't touch anywhere else. So these are awesome, awesome masks compared to, you know, the other options that you would get. So we just do some measurements real quick. So it's about 8 inches wide. The KF94s are a little bit, well, measure from the thickest. It's 8 across. This was about 3 three top to bottom. This is three top to bottom. So it's measuring the same as the KF94, the standard KFs. Um, just do this measurement here, and this is when you fully extend it, it comes down to like six inches. There, I'm not sure if you guys see. And maybe that's where this might be smaller, because this doesn't have a lot of open, open in there. So that, the standard KF94s are like six inches when you open it. That's from the top, you know, to the bottom of your chin. And this is about, it is about maybe five and a half is what I'm getting here. Five and a half inches. So it's half an inch shorter than your standard um, KF94 mask. 
Uh, I washed it and I actually bought this. It looked like it shrunk a little bit when I washed it in the washing machine just now. I'm just going to measure this to make sure I didn't lose any. Yeah, still eight. Still eight. Okay, it didn't shrink that much. It's about less than three. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe it did shrink a little in the height. But I see here, um, what my, my only concern initially when I got this, I realized that the dual barrier was where this black um, bit is. But um, this hair is almost... It looks transparent almost like if you put it against the light. But this is definitely a barrier that works. Nothing's coming in, nothing's coming out of there. So this also passed the candle test here, as well as the dual barrier that goes over your mouth when you breathe in or out, which is you know really which is what you want. Um close up of this mask. Initially I thought it was like a Kodura nylon, but it is 98% cotton and like 2% spandex or um elastin is what they call it. I think it's like a spandex polyester blend so it has a bit of stretch to it which is cool and then you have the the loops that are very adjustable uh so not much i can say about this uh the pack of 10 worked for me they might sell packs of threes where you live but now that i wash it i realized that these might only have a limited lifetime even though they are reusable i'm assuming like one of these will probably last like maybe a month or two months um as i go through the pack so initially what you would want to also do when you get it it, it comes with a tag, a really long paper tag here. That just gives you the basic um, instructions of care and um, material instructions as well. I don't know if you guys could see there. So it tells you in three different languages, I believe here, um, what the fabric is made of and so forth. This is not a respirator mask. It's, it's, it's noted on the pack here. It's not a respirator. So um, don't know. And it's also non-medical. It's stated in a fine print. But I think it does enough to keep out particles like coronavirus and, you know, other viruses. Uh, well, coronavirus is the reason that we're all wearing masks. So I'm not, really, really, I'm not really worried about anything else right now. But as long as it keeps COVID out, I'll be happy with that. I actually put the mask I wore back in the pack. But this is a cool mask. What I also like about the outside of this, it has a water-resistant um, seat to this. Like the paper mask, if it's raining and you wear this in a rain or snow, um, this kind of gets really like soggy quickly, but this dries quick when it gets wet, like in a rain. The day I bought it, it was raining, so it did get um, a bit of mist and water on it, and it dried quickly. It didn't give me any issues with that. Um, one regret, oh, not regret, but I wish the nose, um, this wire was a bit stronger. It seems like the wire is where this would probably wear out quickest. Uh, it, it, it's not... You bend it and it doesn't like, it becomes like, it's so kind of loose. The mask itself is not flat, it's not rigid. It's very like compressible and floppy. Um, and I wish that wire was a bit more stiffer. It's not as stiff as I would want it to be. It's very flexible, but it's not, it doesn't retain the stiffness when you bend it. It kind of like, as you move in it, it kind of, you know, kind of comes up. The shape kind of goes away compared to the KF mask. It's like, once you bend that, that's not going anywhere. So even though this is a cheaper disposable mask, the wire in that is much, it's more secure than the wire in this. And I believe that's why the day it rained, I did get some fogging of my glasses because the wire kept kind of coming, coming loose a little bit. I like that the wire also comes to the tip there. So it kind of sits on your nose. It doesn't uh, fall down. Whereas in some of the KF95 masks, the wire is actually below the edge of the mask. And um, you get all this extra material above your nose i really didn't like that and that would get in the way of your glasses like if you want it hugging your nose bridge like all this extra material gets in your way but on this it's right there but i just wish that wire brim was stiffer that's my only gripes about this mask as well as it's not really uh reusable i believe a couple of washes of this and then you'll throw you you're throwing these out so not bad guys uh low sells this you can get these online for cheap uh as well good quality stuff it's actually well made So um, that's it, guys. That's it for my review. Um, thank you for watching, and um, more stuff is coming to the channel.